Hi everyone! I'm Miss Shiri from the San Diego Children's Discovery Museum in Escondido, California. Welcome to our Roots series where we celebrate the many diverse countries that make up the unique community of San Diego County. We love learning about the historical inventions and artistic contributions that these different countries have given to our modern world. This month, we are celebrating India. India has a very long, rich history and many diverse cultures. To tell us more about India and Hinduism are local San Diego students, Krishna and Ernie. Hi, my name is Krishna. Hi, my name is Ernie. Today, we'll be telling you a little bit about Hinduism. Hinduism was created in India. The Indian subcontinent is a very ancient land in Asia. Many religious traditions and languages were created there over thousands of years. The majority of these religious traditions can be grouped under Hinduism. Many majestic temples exist in India. Some of these temples are even over a thousand years old. India is also a country of unbelievable diversity. There are thousands of gods and goddesses, over a hundred different languages, and unique cuisines or foods in each region. Yoga and meditation were created over 5,000 years ago in India and were widely practiced. Another famous religion known as Buddhism was also born in India. Hinduism is one of the oldest ways of life to exist. Throughout the years, it has gone through many changes and many traditions have been added to it. Despite all the changes, the main values have stayed the same. Hindus believe that this entire universe has a part of God. This includes each and every one of us. That is why we greet each other with Namaste. This means that the God inside of me greets the God inside of you. Another main value of Hinduism is that the whole world is one family. This means that we are all connected. So we should treat each other with love and respect just like we do with our own family. In Sanskrit, we say this as Vasudhaiva Kutumbakam. Karma is another important value to Hindus. Karma means that if we do good things to others, good things will come to us. On the other hand, if we do bad things to others, bad things will come to us as well. Prayer is another important part of Hinduism. Before we pray, we light a lamp. This lamp represents light which removes darkness from our lives. When we end our prayers, we normally say Om Shanti Shanti Shanti. Om is believed to be the sound of the universe. This is why we chant it during our prayers. By chanting the sound, we are able to tune into the divine. Om is made up of three syllables, A, U, and Ma, each having their own meaning. The word Shanti in our prayers means let there be peace within us and all around us. Our prayers seek the well-being of ourselves and all others too. This includes everyone that is alive and all objects as well. This is why we respect our environment. We believe that every part of nature should be treated well and conserved, including trees, rivers, plants, mountains, and even our food. Hope you guys enjoyed learning about our Hindu way of life. Namaste, Namaste to you all. all. Namaste. Krishna and Erne and Professor Sunil Kumar, thank you for sharing your wonderful culture with us. To learn more about India and to do a fun, hands-on activity, pick up a free Roots India kit from any branch of the San Diego City Public Library. These kits are free and they do go fast, so call ahead about availability. Thank you for joining me. See you next time.